In this video, I will demonstrate how to set up L2TP with IPsec. So what is L2TP? The Layer 2 Tunneling Protocol, also known as L2TP, is used to transfer information securely and rapidly across public networks. The protocol has plenty of use cases, but the most well-known is being part of virtual private networks, also known as VPNs. The Layer 2 Tunneling Protocol actually comprises two protocols, Microsoft's PPTP and Cisco's LTF. In practice, there are two endpoints of a tunnel created via L2TP, the L2TP Access Concentrator, LAC, and the L2TP Network Server, LNS. The LAC receives data from remote devices and routes it securely to the LNS. The LAC negotiates a point-to-point -point connection to transmit data frames. The LNS is at the other end of the L2TP tunnel and functions as the termination point for point-to-point -point sessions. It acts as a gateway between public and private networks and allows encrypted traffic to access network assets. So why use IPsec with L2TP? L2TP does not work alone. The protocol lacks encryption and authentication features, and an additional protocol must supply both security functions. In most cases, Internet Protocol Security, also known as IPsec, provides these data protection services, so we commonly use the designation L2TP IPsec. IPsec enables L2TP to serve as a VPN connection with end-to-end -end security. What are the possible applications of using L2TP? The first application is that L2TP can be used as a VPN. That being said, it cannot be used as a VPN alone. It has to be paired with an additional protocol such as IPsec. The second application is to use L2TP to extend a LAN network to include remote devices. This is a useful feature for work-from-home arrangements and on-site remote work. The final important application is to use L2TP in public access Wi-Fi network. L2TP tunneling is regularly used to construct and secure public Wi-Fi networks. This is a common feature of networks owned by a large organization such as colleges, schools, libraries, or airports. When a customer or user connects with an individual access point, this creates an L2TP session. The advantage of using L2TP is that it is very secure and private when combined with IPsec. It is extremely easy to use since setting up an L2TP VPN connection is simple. It is very flexible as well. An example of this is that companies can share infrastructure between different locations more easily. Since using L2TP makes it easier to shift virtual machine infrastructure between physical devices as needed. Now I will demonstrate how to set up L2TP with IPsec. The first step is to log on to web admin for your device. Then, if you have a router from the Balance series, navigate to the Network tab. If you have a device from the Mac series, navigate to the Advanced tab. Then, head to the Remote User Access section. Here, you will have the option to enable the Remote User Access settings. Once you enable it, you will have the option to customize the VPN type, whether it is L2TP with IPsec or PPTP. You can also input a pre-shared key in the relevant box. In the Listen On section, you can select the WAN ports that you want the L2TP server to pay attention to. Be sure that at least one of the WAN ports have public IP addresses. Under the User Account section, enter the username and passwords for each client who will connect to the VPN. For bulk entry, click on the question mark to enable passing directly from a CSV file. To complete setting up the L2TP VPN on your device, the methods will differ based on the operating software you are using. For the Android, iOS, and Mac OS X setting up procedures, please refer to the Peplink forum. I will now demonstrate how to complete setting up the L2TP VPN for Windows devices. The first step is to click on the Action Center icon on the bottom right, and then select the VPN option. This will cause the network and internet settings to appear on your screen. Here you need to find Add a VPN connection. Once you select that, you can choose the options for your connection such as VPN provider, connection name, 
service name or address, VPN type, pre-shared key, type of sign-in info, the username, which is optional, and finally a password, which is also optional. We suggest you consider the following instructions when filling in the fields. For the VPN provider, select Windows built-in. For the connection name, usually this is something memorable. For the server name or address, enter the host name or the IP address of your server. For the VPN type, select the VPN type applicable to your connection. In the type of sign-in info section, select the authentication method used for your connection. For the username and password, enter the username for the VPN connection and the password, if applicable. Once all the details have been put in, you can go ahead and click Save to save all the VPN connection settings. After you've done that, you should see your saved VPN connection profile, which will be listed for you to select. If you can see that, then you can start configuring the settings related to the L2TP VPN connection. This can be done by heading to the Network and Sharing Center on the bottom right of your screen. This will cause the Network and Sharing Center window to appear. On the left of this window, you will see the option to change adapter settings. After clicking on that, you'll see the L2TP VPN connection that you've created. Right-click and select Properties. Then click on Security. The suggested configurations are as follows. The first one is to select Allow These Protocols. Then, also ensure that the Microsoft CHAP version 2 is selected. Then, you select the Advanced Settings button. In doing so, you can ensure that your desired authentication method for the L2TP VPN connection is selected and the key credentials are present, if applicable. The final step is to connect the L2TP VPN connection. This can be done by opening the Network and Internet Settings window under the VPN tab. You should also be able to see the L2TP VPN connection you set up. You can now go ahead and click Connect.